Good morning. I would like to share this thought of the day with you. I've often wondered why the Saturday between Good Friday and Easter Sunday wasn't called Monday Saturday. Because this is the day that the disciples hid themselves away in fear. Hid themselves away not knowing what the future was. Because everything had been broken, taken away from them. They thought their future was with Jesus. And now it had all been taken away. They hid themselves away not knowing what the future was or what they were going to do. It's a bit like us, really. We lock ourselves away now because of fear of a virus, not knowing when it's going to end, when we'll be allowed out to, to live as we normally had. But we do have hope. And I want to share Romans 8, 24 to 30 with you. For in this hope we were saved. But hope that is seen is not hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance to the will of God. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he had predestined to be conformed to the image of the Son, that he might be the firstborn among the brothers and sisters, and those predestined he has also called. Those he called, he also justified, and those he justified, he also glorified. Unlike the disciples, we know the end of the story. We knew. We know that Jesus rose again. The disciples didn't. They did not know what was to come. We know what we have. We know also what is to come. We have hope. Hope in Jesus Christ. Hope in that God loves us. Hope that God is with us.